hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand, you let me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in Can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand, you let me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my heart. Christmas. We're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 Come on. dance. We're gonna dance, 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 dance. Have a good time. Dance, 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 dance. All night long. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. And have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. Christmas in my heart, but this year I want to hang out with my friends and family, making angels in the sand, you love me, doesn't matter if it's Christmas in What's up, you guys? So it's your girl, April, and I'm back. You already know to do another hair video. So this one is going to be pretty because I love, like, this carroty color red here. And I've worked with this company a few times, which is Nadula Hair. I'll definitely leave the info below. But this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal, and it's 180% in density volume, you guys. And it also comes with combs and, and an adjustable strap in the nape and a comb too so prior to this video I did bleach the knots in it and they were kind of somewhat already lifted the wig is 24 inches you guys 180 this is the density and it's the Auburn loose wave 24 inch lace wig so it's fairly affordable when I say fairly meaning girl it's affordable it's not high priced for the density and the length I think you know you'll get a nice a decent amount um they are having a sale on you know it, it all depends on you as a person so make sure that you check out the sale the prices and just look around prior to just hitting that buy it now button so prior to adhering your wig you definitely will need to remove any type of dirt oils or hair debris or anything from your hairline Especially if you want the wig to sit tight, honeys, to where it can just melt in your skin. So I went ahead and used the baby white to do that. Use whatever makes you feel comfortable. Today, I'm using my curved small scissors, and I'm just going to remove the lace, girl. Okay? <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and take my rat tail cone and I'm going to take the tail end and I'm just going to part all around the entire front perimeter of my hair. 
This I like to do because it allows me to use the hairspray in between the part as well as underneath. You know, this is just how I'd like to adhere my wig. So it's basically your preference. But I also will use some of these hairs that you see me pulling forward as baby hairs for my unit. And I do that just to kind of like camouflage the lace or any type of knots that you may see that may be visible in the lace front wig. Now this step is optional by all means, but if you definitely want it to look just as natural as possible and you want to camouflage any type of knots or lace, then I would suggest doing this. But definitely everybody needs some sideburns, honey. So make you some sideburns right on the side. Now this is what I'm going to be using for today, which is the got to be Insta Freeze hairspray. And I did purchase this off of Amazon. And as you see, I'm spraying underneath, but I'm also going to be spraying in between the part like so. Okay. And as you see, I'm just continuously going to do that until everything is adhered and dried. Once I will do that, I'll use my blow dryer on a cool to medium heat and then I'll blow dry it. I'm not going to spray on the entire frontal hair perimeter all at once i'll take it in small sections like you see me do here i'll go on to one side then i'll do the front portion and then i'll do the opposite side so basically i'll do it in three sections of spray and i like to use the tail end of my comb to press down as i'm blow drying that way i know that the wig is adhering and once again i'm going to repeat that on the opposite side To allow my wig to lay as flat and flush as possible to my own natural hairline, I do like to use my hot comb, which you can purchase anywhere from like Amazon, Walmart, you know, what have you. But I do this just to allow the wig to really allow the wig to sit as flat as possible, making the wig look as natural as possible. But be super careful because a hot comb does get super hot. Normally I would like to do this on a mannequin head, which is a canvas block mannequin head. But for review video purposes, I am going to be showing you on myself. Now, girl, it's time to do the best part, which is styling this baby. Okay, so listen, I'm going to go ahead and make me a part. And, and then I'm going to use a wax stick. You know what I'm saying? A wax stick is always great when you're pressing your hair. This will allow the hair also to lay as flat as possible. But it will also train the hair as into making it into a part. And I love a good wax stick because it also does control any type of flyaway hairs. Now, as I showed right here, there's not a lot of parting in certain spots of the unit. This is a 13 by 4 lace front with a 180% density. Let me tell you guys, the color is beautiful. I like this carroty orangish color, red, auburn, brownish color. I like these tones in this wig. At first, it didn't really look like this color on the website. It just looks much better in person to me. I think like the colors and the tones of it give this wig like a lot of character. Plus, it's just much different versus like a normal 27. So I really do appreciate this color a lot. And also, I like the way they highlighted it and blended with other colors versus it just being one solid color. So I do appreciate. I think Nadula did a really great job with the color and the construction of this unit. They did really good with the knots on the unit as well as well as the hairline was thinned out. The hair is still very soft and very manageable, which I also do appreciate, especially because it's been colored. And I'm just still gonna hook it up with some baby hairs. The mousse, the styling mousse that I'm using is from the Dollar Tree, which is the Salon Selectives. And I swear by this mousse, I've been using it for years. It really is great, especially on a lace wig because your wig does not lift up from the particular mousse. So if you need a good styling mousse, I would definitely highly suggest checking this brand out. And as you see, I just take my favorite styling tool, which is this old green toothbrush that I've been using for years. And I just sculpt those baby hairs in place like so. And just to hold them in place while I'm styling my hair, girl, I will use a black elastic band, which I've sewn together, some elastic. And I use that just to rest on my hairline, which is resting on top of the baby hairs or the sideburn hairs. And I do this while I'm styling the unit. This will help all of the baby hairs stay in place. And that is what you see right there, that elastic right there. Just a piece of elastic that I've sewn together. And you can get elastic just about anywhere. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and press a little bit more into this wig. Do y'all see the colors in this? Very pretty colors. Like these are really nice covers. And like I said, the hair is still soft and manageable. And 24 inches, honey. Even though I don't like that lengthy amount of hair, I'm digging this color a lot. And I'm gonna use this Aquanet hairspray that I did purchase from the Dollar Tree. Do y'all remember back in the day, Aquanet was the shiz naive. Shiz naive when it came to the hairspray. Like that was the most popular hidden hairspray. Like everybody would wear that. Like now I don't know what was the big deal because it definitely didn't hold these curls. And honey, if you ever wanna apply a lace wig, definitely don't use the Aquanet because the strength of it is not the same that I don't think as growing up. But I thought I would give it a try, especially because it was at the Dollar Tree and it was only a dollar. So I did use it to spray the hairs down in place. And then that's when I go ahead and curl it. But you guys, you know the rest. This is going to just be a long overdrawn part. You want to definitely check out Nadula hair. I'll post it down below for their loose wave in this Auburn Brown. 24 inches, 180% in density, baby. Okay. And the color is gorgeous. All right. I'll leave all the information down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know what I'm saying? And I hope you make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Okay. Let me know what you think of the finished look. Did I hook it up or what? Check out Nadula hair for all of the new new looks. I think this color is superb. Like this is a me color for sure. I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, you guys. Tell me what you think. I think this is like some really pretty holiday hair. It goes well with this green that I have on. But I love you all. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Stay safe. You know, have a great time with your families. Peace to all. And on that note, I love you all. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video to come. And on that note, bye.